Hi there, my name is Ashley. I'm an undergraduate student at McMaster University, and I'm currently conducting research in a brain cancer lab that studies medulloblastoma, which is the most common malignant pediatric brain tumor. As part of a research project, I worked on a drug through cellular and mouse studies, and it is now in a North American clinical trial for pediatric medulloblastoma patients. Prior to this work, I had little to no information on what clinical trials entail, who participates in them, and why they're so important. This video therefore aims to be an educational tool for brain cancer patients and families to gain a better understanding of clinical trials. The NIH, or National Institute of Health, defines a clinical trial as the following. A research study in which one or more human subjects are prospectively assigned to one or more interventions, which may include placebo or other control, to evaluate the effect of these interventions on health-related biomedical or behavioral outcomes. In other words, there are extensive studies that focus on testing drugs on humans after vigorous preclinical modeling in both cellular and animal models. Eventually, I learned about the four phases within clinical trials. Having been efficacious in preclinical experiments, a drug's components are tested on healthy individuals in phase one to assess the drug's safety, determine the dosage, and identify any side effects. Phase two focuses on a larger group, this time with sick patients to determine the effectiveness of treating brain cancer, for example, while further assessing the drug's safety and best dosage. In phase three, the drug's effectiveness is compared to other treatment models and side effects are monitored in a larger cohort of patients. Following FDA approval when the drug is approved and on the market, Phase four consists of assessing the long-term side effects, benefits, and cost-effectiveness of the drug. In researching some clinical trial articles, I came across some interesting findings. One paper demonstrated gaps in patient knowledge regarding clinical trials by employing a six-country-wide qualitative survey. The study found that doctor-patient interactions acted as some of the largest barriers in the recruitment process. This is due to the fact that many doctors did not inform their patients about participating in clinical trials during their treatment phase. Under the circumstances in which doctors did inform their patients about clinical trials, the patients often felt that their conversation was a one-sided dialogue, ultimately leaving them confused and apprehensive. Another study demonstrated patients' opinions toward clinical trial design and overall participation. Data was gathered using online surveys showing that the biggest reasons for patient participation included the opportunity to ameliorate their own health and the health of others, while receiving a placebo, for example, was of least concern. Overall, the main issue was a lack of awareness, as most patients, for example 61%, were not invited to take part of clinical trials by their physicians, but were generally willing to help with the trial design upon invitation. To keep you informed, the Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada is a great resource in itself for brain tumor patients and their families. This organization strives to achieve their mission in addressing every Canadian affected by a brain tumor through support, education, information, and research. There are many resources available pertaining to clinical trials. For example, the Canadian Brain Tumor Consortium, which acts as an investigative network through which 40 brain tumor specialists promote projects and initiatives related to the brain tumor research, partners with various industries to help carry out clinical trials while elucidating brain tumor pathogenesis, dissecting knowledge about brain tumors, aiding in policymaking, and working in conjunction with other groups in the search for new treatments and hopefully a cure. Resources such as the Ontario Cancer Trials and It Starts With Me provide patients in the province with updated opportunities to participate in clinical trials that may include new drugs or treatments. The Canadian Cancer Clinical Trials Network is a cross-Canada initiative to improve the overall effectiveness of clinical trials. It supports institutions that conduct clinical trials by ensuring that they increase their capacity to conduct these trials by doing so through regional awareness. Canadian Cancer Trials is a great online resource of curated clinical trials all across Canada. Regarding support, the Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada has a pediatric and adult brain tumor handbook that can be used as a resource for support and information throughout the course of diagnosis to treatment. A support program that they offer is called Brainwave. This is for families who have a child suffering with a brain tumor, 
offering them the opportunity to connect with other families in a similar situation and obtain support, information, and education. Stay tuned about the Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada's annual Brain Tumor Walk. And for one-on-one support, you can contact support staff at 1-800-265-5106.